He was born into a family of middle nobility in Netasim, near Cologne. He studied at the University of Cologne and developed an interest in the occult. He later studied in Paris and became involved in a secret society focused on the occult. His name is Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, a man of mystery and intellect, was born into a family of middle nobility in Netasim, near Cologne, on September 14, 1486. From a young age, Agrippa displayed an insatiable curiosity for knowledge, and his thirst for understanding led him on a remarkable journey. His parents, recognizing his potential, encouraged him to pursue an education at the prestigious University of Cologne, where he immersed himself in the study of philosophy and the arts. During his time at the university, Agrippa encountered a clash of ideologies between the dominant Thomists and the Albertists. It was within this intellectual battleground that Agrippa's interest in the occult began to take shape. Drawn to the esoteric teachings of the Albertists, he delved into the mysterious realm of the occult, finding inspiration in texts such as Albert's Speculum. Eager to further expand his knowledge, Agrippa ventured to Paris, where he became entangled in a secret society that delved even deeper into the occult arts. This clandestine group provided Agrippa with a platform to explore and experiment with the hidden forces that governed the universe. His thirst for understanding led him down a path shrouded in secrecy and mysticism, forever shaping his destiny. My life will recur in exactly identical fashion, Agrippa once proclaimed, alluding to the cyclical nature of existence and the interplay between past, present, and future. In his quest for knowledge, he became a protagonist in the philosophical concepts of the time, delving into the mysteries of the occult, bridging the gap between the known and the unknown. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa's life would leave an indelible mark on the annals of history, forever remembered as a seeker of truth and a bringer of enlightenment. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, a renowned philosopher and theologian, embarked on a remarkable academic career in the early 16th century. His journey began in 1509 when he received the patronage of Margaret of Austria, the governor of Franche Comte. With her support, Agrippa had the opportunity to lecture on Hebrew scholar Johann Reuchlin's De Verbo Morifico at the University of Dole. His lectures garnered attention, and he was even granted a doctorate in theology. However, Agrippa's success was short-lived as he faced opposition from the Franciscan prior Jean Catalanet, who accused him of being a Judaizing heretic. Forced to leave Dole in 1510, Agrippa continued his studies in Germany under the guidance of the humanist Johannes Trithemius at Würzburg. He dedicated his unpublished work, The Occulta Philosophia, to Trithemius, who advised him to keep his occult studies a secret. Agrippa then traveled to the Netherlands, where he served under Maximilian and embarked on a diplomatic mission to England. During his stay, he addressed the accusations against him and asserted that his Christian faith did not preclude his appreciation for Jewish thought, stating, I am a Christian, but I do not dislike Jewish rabbis. Returning to Cologne, Agrippa engaged in disputations at the university's faculty of theology. He accompanied Maximilian to Italy in 1511 and participated as a theologian in the Schismatic Council of Pisa. Over the next seven years, Agrippa resided in Italy, working for various nobles and immersing himself in the study of philosophy, Kabbalah, and the works of influential thinkers like Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola. In 1518, Agrippa found himself in Metz, where he served as town advocate and orator. However, his opinions clashed with the monks, and his defense of a woman accused of witchcraft led to a dispute with the Inquisitor. Eventually resigning his position, Agrippa returned to Cologne before practicing as a physician in Geneva and Freiburg. In 1524, he became the physician to Louise of Savoy, but he gave up this role in 1528. Agrippa's fortunes took a turn when he was appointed archivist and historiographer to the Emperor Charles V, under the patronage of Margaret, Duchess of Savoy. However, Agrippa's position became precarious with Margaret's death in 1530. The publication of some of his writings further fueled the animosity of his enemies. After a brief imprisonment for debt in Brussels, he sought refuge under the protection of Hermann of Weed, the Archbishop of Cologne. Yet, his confrontations with the Inquisition intensified when they attempted to halt the printing of his work, The Occult of Philosophia. Agrippa then journeyed to France, where he was arrested by Order of Francis I. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, a renowned philosopher of his time, was known for his influential books that explored a range of topics. One of his notable works was De Incertitudin et Vanitate Scientiarum at Artium Declamatio Invectiva, a skeptical satire that shed light on the sad state of science. This book had a profound impact on thinkers and writers like Montaigne, Descartes, and Goethe, who were inspired by Agrippa's revival of Pyrrhonic skepticism in its vitalist mode. In addition to his critique of science, Agrippa also delved into the theological and moral superiority of women in his book titled Declamatio de Nobilitate et Presilentia Fomini Sexus. 
This work, which praised the virtues of women, became well known and was even translated into English in 1652. Agrippa's perspective on the importance of women's role in society challenged traditional notions and sparked conversations about gender equality. However, Agrippa's most significant and influential work was De Occulta Philosophia Libri Trace. This comprehensive exploration of occult and magical thought sought to provide a solution to the skepticism put forth in his earlier work, De Vanitate. Agrippa argued for a synthetic vision of magic, where the natural world, the celestial, and the divine intertwined through Neoplatonic participation. He believed that by combining licit natural magic with a kind of demonic magic ultimately sourced from God, epistemological problems raised by skepticism could be resolved, leading to a total validation of Christian faith. Agrippa's groundbreaking ideas did not go unnoticed. His work became a major influence on magical thinkers such as Giordano Bruno and John Dee. It even found its way into discussions about Albrecht Dürer's famous engraving, Melancholia I. The impact of Agrippa's writings extended far beyond his time, shaping the understanding and exploration of magic and the occult. It is important to note that not all works attributed to Agrippa were actually written by him. A spurious fourth book of occult philosophy, known as, Of Magical Ceremonies, was falsely attributed to him. Scholars believe that this book, first published in Marburg in 1559, was not authored by Agrippa. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa's philosophy and writings continue to captivate and inspire minds today. His critical examination of science, advocacy for gender equality, and exploration of magic and the occult offer valuable insights that can help us navigate the complexities of our daily lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.